Welcome to the dialogue, learning from the masters. This podcast will offer you a rare glimpse into our in-depth interview with screenwriter Paul Atanasio. When it comes time to write the dialogue, what is, what's the function or the purpose the dialogue is serving? Again, it's, it's, it's two things. One is it's supposed to provide almost like the music. Okay. It's supposed to be like a music track. And then the spaces between the dialogue are supposed to tell you action and behavior. Because hmm. it's truth is in behavior. Do you ever get We're animals? Right. <laughs> That's certainly true in my case. Um, I imagine you get uh, a fair amount of input from the kind of actors we're talking about in terms of Johnny Depp or, or, or Demi Moore, the, the Ray Fiennes and the actors on Quiz Show. Have you gotten a lot of that input? And have, what's that kind of, how do you deal with those kind of notes? I stay away from them. Mm -hmm. I like them. <laughs> um, do you go to the really set? Like Are you on the set through the through I production? I don't go very much. Mm -hmm. You know, Aaron Sorkin had a wonderful line about being a writer on the set where he said that it's like being a hooker who's been fucked and been paid and is waiting around for breakfast. <laughs> and that's what it feels like. I feel like there's only potential for trouble there. Right. The good German shot in town, so I went once a week, and that was useful just because if I was in Steven's space, then he would talk to me about stuff that was on his mind. Mm -hmm. And... That's how I would know he was thinking about revising this scene or that scene. And what was great about that, his process is he edits every night. Mm -hmm. So when it came time to do some rewriting on the film, I could actually look at a finished film with you know, the scenes that were not shot, not in it. But, That's great. But he was it's fantastic. Did you find that a valuable kind of... Oh, it's incredible because you, know, you have an intention going in, but then what ends up being alive on the film is always different. That's the idea. You know, otherwise people would stay home and read screenplays. Right. I like a really strict hierarchy where they're talking to the director. Right. I feel like there's only opportunity for mischief in the other, the other scenario. So I talk to the director. This has been an excerpt from the dialogue Learning from the Masters with screenwriter Paul Atanasio. To get the full interview on DVD, go to thedialogueseries.com. There you will find this and all 27 in-depth interviews with the industry's leading screenwriters. You can also find these interviews at Netflix, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to iTunes.